Well, hey y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am Susan, I'm your hostess, and I wanted to show you we have a new roof. Our old roof was really, really bad. The um, tar paper that was put on there had been on there for years and had dry rot it. I'll try to get you up there so you can see. And the whole roof had two layers of roofing on it, so it was all torn off. At different angles so that you can see the roofing on there. Um, really did a nice job, my son-in-law did. My son-in-love, I should say. Did a really nice job of putting that roof on. Y'all forgive my angles because I'm not really proficient with carrying a selfie stick and trying to walk with a cane but he also worked on he put a new roof on this little out porch that we added on this addition but we have some stuff here that we're going to have to replace on the back wall and then we probably are going to have to put some paint on it at some point it has not been painted yet so this little porch here bring you in so you can kind of see what I'm talking about y'all the ladies are all out here look at there they're coming out to see their mama we've got fence um, we've got clotheslines laying here it's been too wet for us to even put them in the ground yet that was made by our friend that passed away not too long ago. But this back corner here has some damage on the wall. And we're going to have to fix that right there. And then the rest of the roof is right there. A little bit of damage on the outside of the house that needs to be repaired too. I'm bringing you in close. These are the blackberries that my husband planted this winter. Uh, they were cuttings. There you go, you can see. It looks like we're gonna get some good blackberry plants. This one got busted. Uh, when we had all the winds come through, it knocked over our glass outdoor table, which is laying right here and it busted the bucket so we're gonna have to put this in a new bucket but that's okay it's coming up and here's another one and this one i've got a dandelion growing in here let's see if i can get that out of here this one's really come out as you can see I need to get it um, I need to get a stake and stake that one up I'm going to set it inside the bucket for now and here's another blackberry and another blackberry so all of these blackberries back here are producing y'all the ducks are out The chicken. We've got blackberries in this one. I think he said he did about 14 or 15 containers. And this one's just now starting to come up in there. And I'm having to walk around stuff that's sitting out in our yard. And right right in there we've got another one coming up and i have done absolutely nothing outside y'all it's been so wet i got some weeds in this one that i need to get out here and weed but i wanted to get where you could see right in there we have blackberry shoots and again, 
I need to get out here and weed this one also, but there's blackberry shoots coming up in this one as well. And this one is looking really healthy. So we may get some blackberries this year. This is a mum that I bought last year, this dead thing. I don't know if it's going to come back or not because I didn't get it in the ground, but we have hostas and we have some mint growing in the hostas. There's a patch of mint right there and they're hostas. We did lose our little bird bath. And another hosta. Uh, they did clean out my flower bed a little bit for me because they had all that, all the shingles and stuff. So um, it got a little bit of a clean up. And my iris bed is prolific at this time. And these two pots here have, I believe this one had, this first one has the chicken and hen succulents. I don't know if they'll come back or not. And some more hostas down here. We have a patch of mint. And that is a miniature rose bush, y'all, that is about four years old now. More mint in here and another hosta. And let me pull you back. This is lamb's ear, which is coming back really well. Great big patch of sedum. And then I've got all kinds of lilies planted in here. There's some lilies right there coming up. Another hosta. And my ground cover is starting to come in that I planted last year. I'm really thrilled about that. And some more sedum. Oops. Another hosta and another lily. This end did not get cleaned out. So I've got to get out here and take care of that. My asparagus bed, which needs to be cleaned up too. It doesn't look too bad for the spring. Uh, I have picked a little bit of asparagus out here already. And this is the bed I'm planning on planting another tub of asparagus here. This is a lilac bush I planted, and this one is about four years old to, or five, somewhere in there. And it's starting to show buds. So we should have a little bit of fragrance in our yard soon. It doesn't look like the rose bush made it, y'all. We had planted some blackberries over here last year and right there, that's a blackberry vine there. And then we have another little shoot down here that's coming out. And we may get some blackberries over here as well. Here lately, both our girls have been laying every day. So here's two turkey eggs. Look how big those eggs are, y'all. Big turkey eggs. There's the uh, roofing and the tar paper was really brittle. The mobile home was built in 1992. Y'all, I really do appreciate y'all watching and supporting me and for us reaching 900 friends. Thank you so much. May God bless you and keep you.